hello to my subscribers and if you're watching this video for the very first time you can click the subscription button which is right here let me touch it let me see if I can. let me see right there that's a subscription button and uh, you can also turn on the notification bar so that you get notified when i upload new content i'm about positive energy i'm about spreading positive vibes this video is talking about uh you know perseverance faith and how faith is building your perseverance. We often go through trials and times and we wonder what is happening. When sometimes we ask God to take it away. And I come in this video to tell you, no, don't ask God to take it away. Ask God for, uh, you know, wisdom so that you learn from these trials that you're going through. I pick from a text in the Bible and that's the book of James in the New Testament. Someone wrote to me after watching my previous videos and they were saying, Willis, you're picking texts from the Old Testament. Our time is long ago. We need new stuff. Uh, pick uh, something from the New Testament but, and, uh, and whatever. So this text I pick from James and the book of James is in the New Testament. It's chapter 1, verses 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And in there, James is talking about trials and how to go through them, what trials mean to your life, how to ask from God, and when you're asking how to behave. You've lost a job. You don't have money. You're broke. You're looking for employment. you failed. You started your business, but, but it's not making headway. James is saying those are trials that are meant to build, to build your faith. So allow for the trials to build your faith, and the faith will build the perseverance. Look at those as tests to test your faith. Are you faithful enough to stand that trial? And when you're faithful enough to stand it, God is building your perseverance. So many times we go through trials and just when we start the trials, we ask God to take away these trials. Little do we know that we are robbing ourselves of building faith. So allow yourself to go through trials today so that your perseverance is built. And then after that, ask God for wisdom. When you ask God for wisdom, there's a, there's a verse in the Bible that says, ask and you will find, seek and you will find, something like that. Now in James, James is saying, ask God for wisdom and he will give you without fault. So many times we say and judge other people and say, ah, now that one, ha, ah, that one is a bad person. Even if he asks God, God will not answer. And just uh, as we turn our backs to move our way, something good is happening to their lives. And we're saying, huh? How, how, how is he blessed? Is a witch doctor? <laughs> you know, so James is going on to say and tell you that when you're asking for, from God, when you're asking this wisdom to make the right decisions through your trials that believe that God is going to give you because God is going to give you abundantly without finding fault in you. And James goes on to say that a, pa a man who asks from God and doesn't believe that God will give him is like a wind at the sea and he will be blown away. <laughs> you're wavering in other words you're asking but not believing you're asking for something but not believing. it's like when you go and ask for one million shillings and someone says i'm going to give you the one million shillings but you tell him that person is not going to give you the one million shillings because you're doubting and god says you're like a wind at the sea and you will be blown away you understand and god will not give such a person and so if you've been wondering to yourself that you know you're going through stuff you're asking from God and God is not giving you. This might be the problem. You're asking from God, but you're not believing that God is going to give you. In other words, you are, you're like a wind at the sea and you have been blown away from your blessing. So to crown it off, when you're going through issues in life, stand the trials. Because those trials are building your faith and your faith is building your perseverance. James has told you that when you're going through this stuff, ask from God because God will give you without finding fault in you. And when you ask, have faith, believe 
with every ounce in your spirit that God is going to give you. For if you don't believe, you're like a wind at sea and you'll be tossed away, uh, away from your blessings. He goes on to say that a person who does not believe that God is going to give to, to, give to them is a double-minded person and God will not give to them. So if you're a double-minded person, then you're tossed back to your tribulations. So today I come to give you some positive energy and encourage you through your trials and tribulations that stand the tide. Ask from God, for God will give you. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for loving my videos. I'll be back in the next one. And uh, keep sharing the positive vibes. Keep sharing the positive vibes. Because when you share the positive vibes, positive comes back to you. Thank you. And until the next one, the next time, <laughs> the next time, bye.